a Kentucky soldier forever tied to two horrible incidents in the Civil War, the Andersonville prison and the Sultana steamboat disaster. An artifact in our collection at the Kentucky Historical Society brings those two stories together. Well, the Kentucky Historical Society is really lucky to have a number of objects in our collection related to prisoners of war. And a couple of those pertain to POWs who served in the Civil War. One very unique item we have is a wooden block that was carved by uh, a Union soldier in the 6th Kentucky Cavalry named Edmund Parrish. And Parrish had been captured late in the war and uh, was confined at Andersonville Prison in Georgia. And while he was there, he ended up uh, carving an ornate wooden block. Uh, spending his time, he's probably bored, probably hungry, so uh, he filled his hours by carving this block. The, bo the block includes names of battles in which he probably participated in in Tennessee, also has an eagle and a shield on it. We do know a little bit about Edmund Parrish. He rose through the ranks in the 6th Kentucky Volunteer Cavalry. Uh, he started as a sergeant, made his way to captain, participated in a number of battles that that regiment was in. It's likely he was captured um, while his unit was operating down in Georgia as the war sort of wound, wound down during Sherman's march to the sea and the fighting around Atlanta. Um, Parrish's story is sad, though, because he was released from Andersonville, ended up taking the steamboat Sultana home up the Mississippi River. And on April 27, 1865, just as the Civil War was winding down, uh, the Sultana exploded in a terrible disaster, ended up killing Parrish and also about uh, 1,100 other recently released Union prisoners of war. We're not sure how the Kentucky Historical Society ended up getting this carved wooden block uh, from Captain Parrish. We don't know if it was found on his body after the Sultana disaster. We don't know if he sent it home while he was a prisoner, but it's an incredibly unique piece for us to have because it, it links a Kentuckian to two incredible stories. First, there's the story of, of the Andersonville prison in Georgia, which was a notorious Civil War prison. And the second being uh, the explosion of the steamboat Sultana, which still stands as the worst maritime disaster in U.S. history. To learn more about the Civil War artifact, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfort, I'm Doug Howe.